five. Go for ten. Six. Are my shoulder, my elbow staying locked? Mm-hmm. Yep. Seven. Looking good. Eight. Nine. Good. Good. Relax. So actually the point of this is not to do it as quickly as possible with as few repetitions as possible. Okay. Um, especially right now. You can warm up your muscles, but it takes a little bit longer to get blood into uh, your connective tissue, your joints and, and your tendons and stuff like okay. that. So uh, just to keep, keep you from getting injured the next time or yeah. just in general, uh, definitely want to make sure to do stuff like this, which is just kind of ease you into full ranges of motion. Try to bring your arm in about a thumb width closer. Yeah, should be like an inch or so closer. Go for 10 again. There you go. That's one. That's two. Three. Four, good, it's looking good. Five, good. Bring it back. Six, good. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. One more set of pass throughs. This should be, yeah, this is about ten pounds on the bar. Just take your time again. Good. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Ah, oh, getting hard. I'll help you up. Keep this right elbow straight. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. All right, good. Knees out.
A little lower. All right, go ahead. So right here, back up a little bit. And keep those knees out. Keep your uh, elbows high. There, just there. Go for 10. Elbows high. Five. Six, keep that head up, chest up higher. Seven, eight, nine, good, and ten. Set her down. Elbows high, keep your back straight up and down. Try not to pivot too far forward. Okay. Cool. Keep those elbows up higher. Seven. Elbows up higher. Eight. Nine. Good. Ten. Good. Set her down. Set up. Squeeze your butt. Squeeze your belly. Bring those toes in. There you go. down, knees up, up, there you go, stay on your heels, come forward a little bit, right there, you got it, a little bit lower, not that far, there it is, oh, <laughs> yeah, so if you um, stay up and stay as upright as you can. What's happening is you're pitching too far forward. <sighs> now they got your adrenaline pumping a little bit. <laughs> I like it when that happens now. <laughs> Give it's... me an indicator. Nothing bad will happen if I don't miss it. Yeah. Jeez. You learn best through your failures, not your successes, really. One of those composers was talking about how time and history and legacy, like, of superstar composers or, or artists actually do a disservice to um, young artists up and coming mm -hmm. because all of the... Uh, Superstar legend person's like crap work falls to the wayside because people are just not interested in it and it gets overlooked and eventually forgotten and all that remains is like their best work mm -hmm. and so it's easy for young people to look at the legendary people as these like Gods. unattainable yeah like um, examples of a person who always turns out diamond. <laughs> <laughs> we have well we have the same bias with with uh friends and relatives same thing we just kind of focus on the idea that once we dispense advice they'll adjust the correct course and produce nothing but the best of themselves but being so intimate with someone you kind of have to realize that they have to get to the point where they only produce the best of that one particular uh, aspect that you want them to correct or change. Right, right. But you have to actually see them go through the process and it could be annoying. Yeah. Or you could just find joy in it and say, well, they're, they're going through the process. Yeah. Which is hard. All right, feet out a little bit wider, toes in. Just kiss the bench a little bit closer. 
There you go. A little bit closer. There you go. Closer still. Lower. There you go. What number? One more. Set her down. I didn't feel it at all. No, you were there. So I realized in all the hubbub and confusion that I'd actually lost the audio for this part. What I'm having Aaron do is I'm having him squeeze his glutes, squeeze his belly, and set his feet out wide enough so there is tension in his legs so that the entirety of his core is actually locked in. And even though he's doing a uh, dumbbell press, everything is still engaged. If you could hear, I keep saying, get tight, get tight. What I'm having you do is to tighten up as much as possible. Here I'm actually holding down his shoulder. I'm pushing it down and forward to keep him from cheating by using his traps. I'm having him focus mostly on his chest. Now I'm actually pulling it about 45 degrees away from his body to kind of set it up in about a, in a uh, wide grip position. And I'm having him reach the final position with the dumbbell centered above his neck. We're doing about 10 in each set and uh, this is a bit, uh, actually it's 10 per arm with a split between uh, having it closer to his body and then bringing it about 45 degrees away from his ribcage. The reason why I'm doing this is because I actually read up that uh, Having presses done with the elbows close to the body works a lot more tricep. And so changing that by having him do the presses about 45 degrees helps to work on his pecs. Uh, you guys are more than welcome to comment on that and uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but the reason why I was actually having him do it with the elbows close to the body and you can see me here showing him with me lifting up my shoulder towards my head is that uh, since the shoulder articulates in so many different directions it's easy to, to uh, cause damage and hurt yourself so keeping it close to the to the rib cage, keeping your elbows close to the rib cage helps to teach at least that motor pattern uh, while these are light sets, light volumetric sets, to uh, develop the better habit of pressing in a solid, controlled, and consistent range. And though Aaron is left handed, I've noticed that he does have a bit more strength in his right side and in his right arm so what I'm doing is I'm having him do lighter weight on the right side so that his uh, left arm can kind of his left arm and his left pec can kind of catch up once again what I did here was I split the 10 representatives between what you could consider a close grip dumbbell press and push it about 45 degrees away from his body to uh, do the last five representatives. What I'm showing him here is that uh, I've noticed that in the first two thirds of the movement, he actually has his right arm way out. But I'm showing him to bring it in so it's a more consistent movement. Go ahead and set up again. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Belly, button belly first. Get some tension in your legs. Cool. That should keep you stable. All right. 
My back. Keep your feet flat. <laughs> You're gonna keep them flat on the ground. We get some tension there, good. We'll do all chest for this one, so 45 degrees out, starting from here, right here. Good, you got it. Thumb right there? Ah. Right here. Uh, it's right on the sore spot. Mm. Uh, uh. Seven. Good. Right here. Yeah. Eight. Yeah. Nine. And yeah. good. Ah. Uh. Alright, stay there. Give me your arm. I'm gonna rip your arm out. Right here. No. Right. Higher. Tell me when. Marco. Marco. It was in here. My thumb was in here. Your thumb was up. Ah, uh, that was you actually. You just rotated it, so. Ooh, crunchy. Not really. <laughs> So finish there, start here, there we go, like a sheep. Eight, nine, and ten, good, I'm done, you are done. For the day? For the day. You were relieved.